एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now in the last topic we have studied about the practical transformer so in the practical transformer output value is smaller than the input value so sum of the power that is lost in the uh, in the transformer so what are the what kind of losses are there so that we will uh, that i will uh, make you study in the next uh, in the com upcoming topic so in the losses in the transformer I am Narendra Kaur. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, kindly refer this book by S. Chand Publishing. E-book link description is given in the description box. Now, let us begin with this topic. So, the topic is the losses in transformer. So, losses are basically responsible for making the smaller output than the input value now if this is our core of the transformer this is a primary winding again this is a secondary winding here is a load so here this is a primary winding we will give the input from here and this is the core of the transformer and second one is a this is a secondary part and a secondary part what will we get we will get the output value now there are the two type of losses in the transformer first one is a iron loss and second one is a copper loss first one is a iron loss second one is a copper loss beside these two losses there are large number of losses are also present which is not important to discuss so such kind of loss the first one is a friction loss second one is a heat loss we know that when the current is flowing in the wire there are some resistance so some of the power is also lost in the form of heat what is friction over here as there is a no movement in the every every part of the transformer means of every part of the transformer is in the static condition so that's why there must occur some friction loss but with some negligible value so this type of loss that can be neglected but there is also some heat loss what is heat loss here as a current is flowing in the wires and due to flow of current in the wire basically there occur, there is also resistance in the wire then heat loss that is given by i square into r again this is not important in front of iron and copper loss now firstly i will start with the iron loss so what is iron loss here so first is a iron loss iron loss is basically again it is of two kind one is of the hysteresis loss what is hysteresis loss again we have studied about the hysteresis curve that i will explain you second one is a eddy loss or you can say that the eddy current loss so let us begin with the hysteresis loss okay now first part is the hysteresis loss now hysteresis loss is denoted by ph which is directly proportional to f raised to power eta what is eta here eta is a constant and it has value from 0.4 to 2.6 this value is variable that can be taken from 0.4 to 0.6 but in case of practically transformer this value of eta is taken as 1.6 means this hysteresis loss is directly proportional to this raised to power 1.6 now why this is law why this kind of losses are occur in the transformer we know that in case of transformer when the primary windings are connected with the input voltage 
some of the current starts flowing that is the input current again in the core there is induced emf due to induced emf if this is a bh curve graph between h and b means when h is flowing in the core this is a magnetic field is flowing in the core again field is developed due to this induced field this type of curve is followed that we have already studied about the bh curve and the area under this curve here the area under this bh curve that represent the energy loss area under the bh curve it represent the energy loss and it can never be zero it can never be zero such kind of losses are known as hysteresis loss so in case of when we are, but a uh, main difference that when our material is made up by ferromagnetic material area of this curve is very small smaller the area there is smaller the energy loss but this is not zero so in case of ferromagnetic material as the core or the material is made up by iron ferromagnetic material so there occur some loss but this energy loss or you can say that the power loss this value is small but non zero so such kind of losses are known as hysteresis loss so in case of hysteresis loss this power ph that is directly proportional to f raised to power 1.6 what is f over here that is a frequency at the primary winding so this kind of losses are known as hysteresis loss now second one is a eddy current loss now what is the eddy current how the eddy currents are generated in the transformer firstly we will study this so in case of transformer if this is the core of the transformer now here the current this is a i1 current so according to again fleming's right hand rule if this is a curve flow of direction of current represented by the thumb and then curl of the finger will represent induced emf here the emf is induced now in this primary core the current is flowing along the core then the direction of emf is given by thumb so here the emf is induced in this core due to induced emf in this core some of the current starts flowing in the opposite direction so such kind of currents are known as eddy currents so what are the eddy currents here these currents are basically necessary because if these currents are present means emf is flowing in the circuit so that induced emf is responsible for the output value but these currents also interrupt the induced emf because they are in the opposite direction so due to this interruption there occur they will uh, there occur the losses in the output power so these eddy currents are responsible for the losses in the output power so then this loss due to eddy current that is represented by pe which is directly proportional to i square so such kind of losses are known as eddy current losses and this i is represented by im into if this is equal to sin theta what is theta if theta is a phase and i am that is a maximum value of that current then this value of power the sorry loss that is given by pe is directly proportional to i m square into sin square theta so this is a loss due to eddy currents in case of transformer so such kind of so there are the two kind of losses so copper iron losses sorry the iron losses are represented by sum of hysteresis loss plus sum of the eddy current hysteresis loss and eddy current losses hysteresis loss that is due to the intrinsic properties of material basically these are the properties of material so due to material the losses are known as hysteresis hysteresis loss so this is due to material while the eddy current so these are due to the induced emf 
so these are due to induced emf so these are the not material properties these are the pro due to input voltage the air currents which are flowing such kind of losses are known as in uh, eddy current losses so iron losses are sum of, given by sum up of hysteresis loss as well as eddy current loss so now in this first part we have studied about the uh, losses iron losses which is combination of hysteresis loss as well as eddy current loss and the second part we will study about the copper loss now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing ebook link description is given in the description box if you like this video please kindly like subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.